we've been working on making the dance performance that you saw in the video for about a year and a half. We started by hiring a choreographer and some dancers, and we worked out the idea for what some music might be that would be good, and some dance steps uh, that would be interesting to watch. So we came up with a rough draft of a program. After that, we started to get the engineers and the robots involved, and we had to program them to do the moves that were in the, in the dance sequence. And that was an iterative process where we simulated the robots doing some of the steps. So then we had to program up uh, the various moves, the mashed potatoes, the twist, uh, the running man, as you've seen in the video. And then we made it so that we could string those together in order to do the performance. And then finally, we had to coordinate all the robots in order to get them to come in and out of the scene. We had to figure out where the camera was going to go uh, in order to make the movie. In doing the dance performance, there's the obvious element, which is the robots are dancing in a way that expresses uh, a particular move and a little bit of emotion that they're you know, happy doing these different steps. And that was a new thing for us. But in addition to that, the project let us look at the physicality of the robot. It turned out that we needed to upgrade the robot in the middle of the development in order for it to be strong enough and to have enough energy to do the whole performance without stopping. Uh, so that was a real benefit to the design of the robot. And the other thing is we developed the motion programming tools, the ones that let it reconcile balance, bouncing, and the fact that it's doing a performance all at the same time. So we went from having very crude tools for doing that to having very effective rapid generation tools so that by the time we were done, we could generate new dance steps very quickly and integrate them into the performance. You know, our job is to uh, try and stretch the boundaries of what robots can do, both in terms of the outer research boundary, but also in terms of uh, practical applications. And I think when people see the new things that robots can do, uh, it excites them.